Alright, um, welcome to another tutorial by me, Mr. Louisville. This one is on, um, converting an image for, uh, MakeCut Arcade. And I'm going to walk you through the process so that you can just go ahead and jump right in. So let's get right into uh, tutorial end here. So first you're going to go to the link to the website. And when you're brought to here, <coughs> you're going to see there's a link for image converter. You're just going to click that and then click this link. Now you do need an image that you want to convert. So um, in my case, I did just download this image. So we're just going to take that and download it. <clears throat> you can see it just kind of makes it. So now we're going to copy this code. Um, at this point, we need to get into Make Code Arcade. And now I'm going to show you the process for um, taking the image we just copied, which is a bunch of just code. Let's see. There it is. Um, and get it into our game. So let's say. Um, no, let's just create a new project, and then we'll call this one Little World Saves the Day. Um, so now what we need to do is we need to actually pop over to our JavaScript. Um, and in our JavaScript, we're just going to paste in the code. Oop, done. Okay, and now we have... Uh, a sprite created with that image. It was just Control or Command V to paste. Um, you want to rename it, um, so we'll just rename this to the world. Um, but maybe uh, you didn't want this to be a sprite. Okay, um, that's fine. You can come in here and you can set a background image maybe and we make this we, we can take this and drag it in there and then get rid of this sprite we don't need it okay so now the background is actually uh my face and now we could add in uh, a sprite that looks like whatever um let's just make it like a, a hamburger okay um and let's say we had a bit more code in here so now the thing moves and um, whatever so now I can actually move this burger around my face great wonderful game um, but let's say I had this code and copied it and this is a new let's just say it's a new sprite um, and I wanted to add it in you gotta go somewhere in this code to be able to add it in, and there's actually a lot of code here, right? So, um, what do you do? Well, I, I recommend just going to the very last line, uh, in this case, this is the empty line 198, and paste it in there. And now what I've done is added a new sprite again, which looks identical. Um, to the very bottom of my on start block. So you'll know that it goes to your on start at the very bottom of your on start block. You could also do it at the very top of your code and then it'll put it at the top of your start. It doesn't really matter, but you don't want to do it in the middle because then you might have functions that you've already created and you might not know that you're putting it in a function, then you can't find it, and then it's it's all over the place. Another thing that you may want to do is pop into this and start editing some of this stuff. So maybe you want to um, get rid of some of the background. Well, you would use this empty tool um, and this or, or paint uh, a fill tool, I should say. Uh, and then you can like fill some of this stuff. Now this would obviously like take away my beard, which I don't want. Um, so you could do stuff like that. Uh, you can also scale this down. So right now it's pretty pretty big. Um, so what you can do is you can just use this selection tool and now with that selected you make sure that you have the arrow like that and now I can click and drag and stretch however I want it like that and now I have a smaller scale and to find out the size of this like I don't want all this here um, I hover over here okay 
And then in the bottom left hand corner right here, you're going to see some numbers appear. 60 and 62. Okay? And actually, if we move it up, this will change. Okay? So we're just going to find that number 56 and 53. So we're just going to click in here. 56, tab, 53. And now that will be a small, smaller icon or sprite or whatever. And now it's only going to take up like this space up here. Um, and that's how you change stuff in the game uh, that you import in from this image converter. So I hope this was helpful and that you were able to figure out how to do this so that you can make sprites look good really fast. Good luck.